and welcome to today's episode of How the Game Was Won. Today we are at the European Team Championship for the match between Ukraine and Romania. And we have Ivanchuk with the white pieces and Lupulesco with the black pieces. And without further ado, let's see how the opening moves of the game progressed. We had a d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, knight c3, bishop e7, queen c2, castles, c takes in d5, e takes in d5, bishop g5, h6, bishop h4, knight a6, e3, knight d4, sorry, knight b4, correction, uh, queen b3, bishop f5, rook c1, and c5. As you can see, exchange variation of the queen's gambit declined, and Lupulesco's last move is a clear indication that he wants to make use of his lead in development. It looks a bit scary for White, as he's still some time away from castling. But uh, Ivanchuk shows no fear whatsoever. We're continuing. D takes C5, Queen A5, Knight D4, Knight D3 with check. An alternative for Lupulesco could have been. Bishop g6, for instance, with bishop e2, knight d3, bishop takes d3, bishop takes d3, c6, and uh, black still has a fairly reasonable game going forward. After knight d3 check, we have bishop takes d3, bishop takes d3, and at first glances this looks pretty uh, good for black, which prevents his opponent from castling, but obviously Ivan Chuck with a full hundred points ahead on, on ELO has seen much deeper into the position and plays c6. For instance, uh, queen takes b7 is, is also strong, but uh, humans don't play this way when the king is in the center, so this is much more of a computer type move. So after c6, bishop c4, queen a4, queen c5 for Lupulesco. Uh, the, in this position, my computer told me that the best line to play here would have been Queen takes an a4, knight takes an a4, bishop takes an c6, knight takes an c6, and bishop d6. Uh, but it's much more tricky for a human to go down these type of lines with all of the myriad of uh, tactic, tactical possibilities that can come out of it. So Lubulesco went for with queen c5, we had c takes an b7, Rook b8, b3, bishop d3, king d2. And obviously with the king trapped in the center, a move like king d2 is a way of obviously connecting the rooks so that they can work in harmony. And for the time being, the king is reasonably at home on that square of d2. Besides uh, putting pressure on that bishop that is sitting on the d3 square. We've got bishop g6, bishop takes an f6, bishop takes an f6, knight e4, queen e7, knight c5, bishop e5, g3, bishop d6, uh, knight d7, bishop b4, check, king e2, bishop h5, king f1, bishop d2, rook c2. Uh, for instance here, rook c7 would have also been strong, but uh, Ivan Chuck's move looks winning on the surface, but it does give black some sort of degree of counterplay. Rook b7, takes on b7, knight takes on f8, rook b4. In this, which is a weakening move for Lupulesco, in this position he could have gone for something like queen e4 just to make the position a bit more unclear with king g1, rook b4, Rook takes in b2, rook a4, b, b, b takes in a4, queen b1, with check, king g2, queen e4, f3, queen takes in e3, rook h to d1, king takes in f8, and g4, which gives a white, a bit, still a bit of an advantage heading into the end game, but it is definitely not a piece of cake to convert. But Lupulesco played rook b4, and rook c8, queen e4, knight f to e6, king h7, knight f8, check, king g8, and repeating the position a couple of times just to gain some time on the clock, knight g6, check, and 
Chucky finds the only way to win the game. King h7, rook h8 check, king takes g6, queen c6 check, f6. For instance, here uh, Lublesco could have played, for instance, king g5, h4, king g4, queen d7 check, f5, and uh, queen takes in g7 check. We was probably still had exactly the same type of outcome as the game had in any event. So after f6, uh, queen e8 check. And the queens are exchanged and white's material advantage is simply too much for black to be able to do anything with. Queen takes in e8, rook takes in e8, bishop c3, Knight c2, rook e4, rook takes an e4, d takes an e4, knight e4, bishop f3, knight f3, uh, e takes an f3, and g4, h5, g takes an h5, king takes an h5, rook g1, g5, rook g3, g4, and h3. In this position, uh, Lupulesco resigned, giving Chucky the win and Ukraine a key point in their match. For instance, the game could have continued after h3 with something like f5, h takes in g4, f takes in g4, rook g1, and as you can see, it's a clear and decisive advantage for checking this position. These got a 2 versus 1 happening on the uh, queen side over there, his e-pawn is set to march all the way through to the queening square and the advantage of the uh, rook versus bishop going into the end game means it's just a matter of time before Chucky converts the point and picks up a checkmate. So Lupulesco resigned, Chucky wins the game, and that, my friends, is how the game was won. Feel free to share this video out amongst all of your chess friends. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like this type of video content. And very importantly, uh, remember to post any comments, questions, or criticisms that you have in the comment section down below. This is a new uh, microphone that I'm using here, so please give me an indication of how much better or worse this microphone is uh, working compared to the previous one. And last but by no means least, there's a red subscribe button below the video screen. Click that subscribe button, that way stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out day to day, week to week. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.